Okay, let's see where I was. I have the narration file right here. So I represent the password. Almost there. So I represent the password as an array of 64 bit integers. The, the outermost operation is to convert between 8 bit and 6 bit representations of the password. It password. All right. And pause here. Edit, insert. Click boundaries. Split here. Just so that I can remember I was working right here. And then start recording new. <coughs> Here is how the conversion works. Here is how the conversion works. First, the symbols correspond to some particular numbers in range 0 to 63. Then groups of four characters are packed into three bytes as indicated by the diagram. And it continues right here, right? Here is how the conversion works. Here is how the conversion works. First, the symbols correspond to some particular numbers in range 0 to 63. Then groups of four characters are packed into three bytes as indicated by the diagram. Just continue from there. In encoding this just means... Let me see how it was changed. In encoding and in decoding... The password character set is defined here. And to, convert and to convert numbers into characters, I just index the string. Uh, let me check again. In encoding, this just means pushing six bits in from the front. I was having so much decoding, hiccups. I pop the same bits. In decoding, I pop the same. In decoding, I pop the six. I pop the same six bits out from the left side. And here a split, or actually I don't... Yeah, I could make a split here. Split. The password character set is defined here. And to convert, na and to convert numbers into... To convert numbers into characters, I just index the string and... All right. To convert numbers into characters, I just index the string and the opposite operate and the opposite and the opposite operate and the opposite operation character into number is managed by the find method of the string view. Excellent. To do unrecorded sixteen, which is stored. Uh, hold on by the find method of the string view. Excellent. And here comes another split. Assuming orders it doesn't crash here, which it did. Nothing is happening when I click around. So I have to restore order city. Recover. Yeah. So fifteen, thirty, like here. String view. Excellent. String view. And then make a split here and start recording new stuff. I have a medicine to take care of my lungs, but I don't have a medicine to take care of my nose. It's dripping every day, every... all the time, every day of the year. Actually, that's wrong. Actually, that's wrong. I missed one. I missed one symbol. Again. Uh, hold on. Actually, that's wrong. Actually, that's wrong. I missed one. 
I missed one symbol again. Yes, the password character set is indeed 64 symbols long, but there is one more symbol. There are four different kinds of there are four different kinds of spaces. There are four different kinds of spaces. First, of course, the password is grouped in four groups of six symbols each, and there is a mandatory space between each group. And there is a mandatory space between each group. Okay, that's okay, that's cheating. That's not really a space. But if you press the B button, you can skip over some slot and leave it empty. This is kind of inconvenient since you can only skip backwards, not forwards. In any case, this is a valid password. It gives you the leotard, four health tanks, five missile packs, and kills three and kills three zibatites and the mother brain. The, s the slots that you skip over are actually zeros, and you can just input a zero instead. This is the same password essentially. However, if you navigate to the bottom right corner and press A to actually input a space, the password is no longer valid. And that's because this is a different kind of space now. Yes, that is a valid symbol too. This is a valid password that contains the second kind of space. Replacing this space with zero will not work, but I can replace with it. But I can replace it with a dash. This, this space, this space has the number value of 63, like the dash symbol, not a zero. However, in this password, which is also valid, neither zero nor dash works as a replacement for the space. This is a third and yet different kind of space, with a numeric value of 255. <sniffs> it leaks into the next character. It leaks into the next character. I have to adjust an innocent snake boring letter too. And now it validates and produces identical result comp and produces identical result co and produces identical result compared to before. Here is the updated chart. The space has three different values as indicated. When the value is 255, the extra the two extra back the, the two extra bits overlap with the preceding character and are ORed together as indicated by the red arrows. And this has to be accounted for in the password decoder, of course. I did I do not account for skipped slots because it is difficult to think how to write them other than verb other than that's other than that's verbatim zeros other than as verbatim zeros all right so that part is now done and then Let's see, guess again. Oh yes. Here we go. Kinda goes, meh, who cares? Produce is done for the upper half. Act an expressive. Oh yeah, did oh yeah, did you know that the game has a Oh yeah, let's continue here. Oh yeah, did you know that this game has a special password? Um I think that Oh yeah, did you know that this game has a special password? That's right, if you enter this password, not a password 0000 dash biscuit, you will get you will get the de you will get a secret game you will get a secret game mode. This game mode starts like the normal game, but on every frame that is six that is fifty or sixty, or 60 times, times in a second, three things will happen. Samus is given all power ups. She is given five missiles. Her her health her health tends her her health tenth digit is set to three. And you can see how it works. My default weapon is now at the ice beam and I have the and I have an infinite supply of missiles and Samus can take any amount of hits from enemies, but the health will never go below thirty. <laughs> 